Hello everybody, this is Friends about here and welcome back to Trendrev ATS. Let's do this. So the sound has already been uh, muted because um because of copyrighted music and stuff. But uh I will remember to turn back up the the um the volume on the um thingy. And also I think it forgot to save our game save, so we'll have to restart at eleven o'clock. I think yeah, eleven o'clock. Oh, yeah, I was already doing a thingy. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so I'm going to turn the volume back up, and boom. Let's do this. Okay, so put in fast-forward mode, because we don't want to see the trains take a little million years. And the gates are already going down. That's cool. Okay, so right now it is 5.19 p.m. And, um... So I'm going to record until, um, 5.32. That train is going to go right past it. And there goes the other train for the branch line. So, guys, um, yeah, so there's some amazing news today. Or, sort of. And there's a train. So yeah, the first new is that there's a new update coming to Real Racing 3, which features the which features a new track of Ninjenberging. I don't know how it's pronounced, but the, it's close enough. Or Ninjenberging, I don't know. I don't know. It also comes with three new cars, which is made which is the thingies and uh, and finally the most biggest feature of all, which is the um. Or the second thingy, or the thingy feature, is going to be um, race teams. So guys, I'm gonna create my own race team, or well, I might create my own, or I might join another one. I think I'm gonna join the one by Real Racing Guru. Yeah, I'm sure Real Racing Guru will create his own race team once the um, once the once the new update is launched, and I'll be joining his um. His team, so I'll see you there once the thingy. Well, actually, I shouldn't make plans too soon because the update isn't even out yet. I only saw the release trailer on, or I only saw the little trailer thing on Google Plus. Yeah, and also another thing is, is that I found out that not many people actually use Google Plus because some people say that Google Plus stinks. I mean. How come Google Plus is so bad? I mean, I did a video of it, and it's pretty good. But, there were 8 dislikes, but, I'm um, well, about 8 dislikes, maybe more. Um, yeah, well, either, um, I'm guessing, um, I'm guessing 4 likes, I'm sure half of the population of dislikes is because people don't like me, and the other half is because they don't like the Google Plus app. Yeah. So... Yeah. Well, that train was really short. So, how come you guys don't like Google Plus? Um, well, um, people told me that people have been doing ranting videos on Google Plus, so I might watch some of those. I haven't done it yet, but I might do so. And it's probably going to contain a bunch of um, bad words, which will not be fun. Wow, that train is pretty long. There's actually a lot of 10-car trains today. So that's the second 10-car train for a thingy. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. So about the Real Racing 3 update, the, um, the, the, um, the Ferrari champion thingy, or the, um, the Scudero Ferrari update... They're gonna be bringing back the challenges that came, and they said that I'm gonna be able to that we're gonna be able to play them again. So, um, so when the fir so when the update was first released, they had they they had Redline Origins, they had Motor Fiesta One, and they had the Scooter Ferrari Championship. Well, I was actually able to complete Redline. Wow. That was a very fast train. I actually completed um, Redline Origins successfully and got my car, or got the 
Ferrari 375 F1, but I failed to complete Motor Fiesta 1 and the Scooter Free Ferrari Championship, and I failed to get the Ferrari 14, um, 14T and the other one that goes like a million miles an hour. Or, well, the Ferrari 14T, that's that one, and the other one from 1995. But, luckily, um, since the challenges are coming back, I will be playing them, except I think first I need to complete a couple other challenges, like the Speed Rush TV challenge. I think I need to complete that. Then I'll be completing the Mercury's World Championship. Then I'll be able to do the, um, the Screw the Fire Championship and Motor Fiesta 1, or they, or I might be able to do Redline Origins again, even though I already have the car. Then that might unlock the, uh... Thingy, Motor Fiesta 1, and then Screw the Ferrari Championship, and, and, uh, yeah. So the reason why I failed to complete the Motor Fiesta 1, and, uh, and, um, uh, and Screw the Ferrari Championship is because, uh, well, I was gonna do the fast-forwarding thingy, like, you know the thing where you speed up the clock, and it hurry, and it speeds up the servicing? I tried to do that, but then it took away the car chance thingy, and, uh, and I was trying it over and over again, but I was getting very angry, so I just stopped the challenge because it was too hard. And and on the Motor Fiesta 1, it actually failed me on the last day, and the Scooter Ferrari Championship failed me on, uh, on, uh, well, that was a fast train. It failed me on, uh, on the fourth day, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, so, but now that I know better, hopefully it won't happen again. Because now, I know better. And hopefully the car doesn't take too long to service. Because that's bad. And we don't like bad. So, I believe Motor Fiesta 1 lasts for 9 days and the Scooter Ferrari Championship lasts for 12 days. So, hopefully this time I will get the cars. Both of them. Because they, okay, they cost like a fortune. Since, um... Since, well, you know, they're super expensive, and, uh, I don't like expensive cars, especially that they both cost gold, and gold is so hard to get. It's just not a fun experience for me, for getting gold. It's not a fun experience trying to earn gold. I even tried to hack the game once, but then my computer was, um, got messed up, so... Plus, you'll likely get yourself banned from Real Racing 3 if you hack it. So, so, um, so I may try and continue to try and hack the game, but, uh, as long as I don't get banned. And, hopefully, if I do get banned, hopefully I can reverse the change by downloading the thingy from CloudSafe. And once my ban expires, I'll be black back to playing the game. But, uh, yeah, so. So, yeah. But, uh, hmm. yeah, so, um, oh, and, uh, uh, actually, hacking the game might be a bad idea, because, um, stuff, and, nah, maybe not be much, so much of a bad idea, because, um, hmm, thingies, and Real Racing Guru has a chat lounge on Facebook, the only chat lounge on Facebook, and hackers aren't accepted but um I can understand why but uh but why does it have to be there well I know I already know why because um, stuff that is the third 10 card train I saw there are a lot of those today it's like the third um uh, ten car train in the um in the thingy we saw today. So So um so I wonder what's gonna be the title of the video. So you guys probably already know what the title of the video is, but I don't because I'm in the recording right now and this video is not even up in the ca is not even in the camera roll of my iPad yet. And yeah, I think that's it for for the Wheel Racing 3. So, I can't wait for the update. I'm sure it's going to be released on Tuesday. Because usually, when they release these new Wheel Racing 3 updates, usually, they announce them 
out on a Friday, and then the update comes out on a Tuesday. And since the update came out on a Tuesday, that's how I failed the Endurance Gauntlet event. Yes. So. So, um, yeah. So, um, so remember the Endurance Endurance Gauntlet in, um, for Wheel Racing 3? Well, that challenge, I failed to complete it because I came across a challenge that was so hard, I couldn't even beat it. But, and, to make it even worse, it was on a weekend, so I couldn't ask my mom to pay for more gold for the in-app purchase, so that's why I tried hacking Wheel Racing 3. Plus, I was so low on time that, that I had absolutely no time at all to get extra gold, which is a sausage. So, hopefully they bring the Endurance Gauntlet back to Real Racing 3. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. But, uh, it's probably gonna be a long time. Yeah. At least four to six months. Well, maybe not four to six months, but what I'm talking about is, usually, once they have um, a, a challenge, like Real Race, like, uh, Mortar Fiesta 1, or Real Road to Le Mans, or something like that, when they have challenges like that, um, um, they actually do come back to the game after, um, after four or five or six months. So, yeah. Oh, no, the recording ends in one minute. Well, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to continue this conversation next episode. Which is, yeah. Yeah. So, one more train, then that'll be the end of the recording. So, so it looks like we're going to have to continue this conversation. Well, not next episode, but next video. So, I, so I'm, and I'm thinking, um, the next video is going to be um, the finale of the Railroad Train series. Wow, that train is going at a million miles an hour. He's probably gonna have a train crash. Probably not. It's impossible to have a um a train crash in this game. Cause usually if you go over the speed limit then the thingy slows you down under the speed limit and uh you still lose points, but uh but the thingy stops you. Yeah. So it's actually impossible to um to have a train crash in this game because the thing always comes along and stops you. I wish you could disable that and you could just go and have a train crash because um, train crashes are awesome in games and stuff and yeah. Well, I think it was the last train of the day. Let's just go and because uh, hopefully I haven't recorded for too long. I hope I haven't. Um. Oh, phew! I only have I two minutes left. So now, so now, this is the outro. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like. Make sure to leave a like and the comment down below. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!